So let's talk about special audio and how it works. So special audio is a feature in uh, WISE that does control all the 3D buses by managing the game objects and their properties. So positions, auxiliary sands, obstruction, uh, occlusion, uh, transmission. It controls the multiple position and the auxiliary sands of the spatial audio game objects. It runs the geometric sound reflection, diffraction and transmission algorithms and all the packages data for the Reflect plugin, Spatial Audio in WISE has three different important tools that we're going to use. First of all, rooms and portals are the primary mechanism to model the propagation of the reverberation in the WISE Spatial Audio. Spatial Audio room are a representation of an acoustic environment in, inside the game, and it can be used for both outdoor spaces and rooms like uh, interiors and portals are uh, small rectangular apertures through which the sound can propagate or uh, diffract and they connect uh, one room to the other and then the third tool is the reverb zone which are zone that model a region within a room that has a distinct reverb effect than that room but does not require portals to connect the rooms between each other. For example, reverb zones are used instead of rooms when there's no obvious walls. So it could be an external uh, patio, for example, something like that. But now let's see how they work in engine. So first of all, so first of all, let's create in wise three different auxiliary buses because we're gonna use them to create a reverb zone, a small room and a bigger room. So I already have here a reverb large containing a room verb that is set like this. Then we can create another one, small, and a third one that we can call reverb patio. Here on the effect tab, clicking on the plus, we can add an effect and uh, you can choose like any kind of reverb. I will choose a convolution. Then we need to add those reverb to the sound bank and we drag and drop here and we generate the sound bank. We can now generate sound banks in Unreal as well. Then we can reconcile the new assets after the generation of the sound banks. So now we can first build our room. So we will use some like blocks and volumes to build like a big room, a small room, and then a patio just outside one of the other rooms. So now that we have our patio here, the big room and the small room here designed, we need to add spatial audio volume, portals and reverb zone. To do that, we need to click here and select the spatial audio volume, for example. Now that we have our spatial audio volume inside the project, here we have the room enabled, the late reverb enabled, and we also need to enable the surface reflector set if we want also to use the reflect plugin. We will also need to tick the enable diffraction, otherwise there will be no diffraction. Also enable diffraction on boundary edges. Here we have the fit to geometry, which if we tick, it will automatically fit the spatial audio volume to the geometry in which is located. As you can see here with a fit to geometry, the spatial audio volume is uh, taking the shape of our room. And then once we are done with that, we can 
untick it. Then here we have the surface properties in which we can choose the acoustic texture, so the material of the wall of our spatial audio volume. And if we go inside the enable edit surfaces, as you can see here, we can like optimize, like build new triangle or edit the shape of the spatial audio volume as we want, or we can just select one of the faces of our volume. And here, for example, I've selected just this face. I can assign only to this face a particular material. Say in this case, we want this to be concrete. Here it is. And now here we have concrete, as you can read. We don't have materials set for the other surface. For example, here on the floor, we want to assign a carpet. And as you can see now, we have the carpet on the floor, concrete on the wall, and we can like choose material for the others, surfaces, and so on. We also can choose the, the transmission loss value. So how much percentage of transmission should be applied to that specific wall? So one will be 100% uh, transmission loss. So there will be no sound passing and we can set curves for the transmission loss inside our wise attenuation settings. Then here we have our room with the AK event and everything. So here we can slot our event for a room tone, for example, you need to remember to tick auto post. And here we can select our um, river bus the one that we have created previously on WISE. So in this case, we will select Reverb Large. And here we have the priority, which uh, is the level of priority that we want to assign to a specific room. This is useful for like room nest into other rooms or a room that uh, collide into each other. So it's important to set a priority so that the engine knows which room is more important. So if you are like in a room nest inside another room, then the smallest room should have the highest priority. So in general, I would say is the smallest is the room, the higher the priority should be. And then we can proceed doing the same thing with the smallest room and with the reverb zone. Also the reverb zone work basically the same way. So you just select them from here. Remember to select reverb zone and not reverb volume because they're like different. The reverb zone works with special audio features as well. And now that we have placed all our volume inside the engine, we can add the two portals that we need for the special audio volume. So we'll add one here on the big room and one here on the small room. From here, So here we are. Now that we have our reverb here, we can go and test it. Let's connect wise, just to troubleshoot, and let's go in play mode. So now that we have seen that the reverb works, I would like to show you how transmissions uh, diffraction like works with the special audio volume. So let's quickly set up here on the, our AX event that I've put in loop just for the purposes of testing now. save and generate sound bank in our reel and then we can go in play mode.
Perfect. So also transmission and diffraction, as you can see, working. You can always like tweak those parameters in Wise. This like of course needs a lot of testing to get like the right value for each sound. So yeah, keep trying and experimenting with that.